What does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Oh, ooh. Can we switch up all the rules? And imagine a utopia Darling, I'm just so fed up with these expectations Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today we are going to do this KKW West wedding inspired look. It's not going to be the exact look she had on her wedding day. It's just something more, um, sim it's similar, but it's more my spin on it. So if you guys want to know how to do this, stay tuned and keep on watching. Okay guys, so we're going to start off with doing the face. I already did most of my face. I just wanted to use strictly the KKW products on film. I already filmed this before, but I actually had a corrupted file, so everything was pretty much lost. So we're just going to start this all over again. Um, so the first thing I'm going to go in with is the Flower Wall Blush. This is the beautiful packaging, and this is what the color looks like. I love it because it's not too pink and it's not too peach. It's just the right color. So with this, I'm actually going to go with a MAC 116. And I'm just going to go ahead and dab, tap off the excess, and then use the apples on my cheeks right here. You're going to want to smile, and then you're going to want to pull back. Just like that. And it's super easy. It's really blendable. Um, it really just melts into the skin. And um, it's very buildable, which I absolutely love. I hate when I just dab into a blush and put it on my face and also all of a sudden boom you have like two big old cherry bombs on your face that's exactly what happens with a lot of different brands that I've been using but this is very very buildable which is awesome it's more of a medium coverage when you first put it on and then you can build up from there to the intensity that you really like but I like it more on the natural side as you can see I put on the apples on my cheeks and it kind of sweep back a little bit you can always add just a little bit right here on the nose like that to tie it in very pretty I really love this blush it's like barely noticeable but noticeable enough if that makes any sense now we're gonna go in with the KKW highlighter in forever um, I really love highlighter it's one of the things that I must put on no matter what here is the highlighter absolutely stunning I'm actually going to be taking my 109 brush from MAC and I'm going to be dipping it into the highlighter. This is a more dense brush that so is going to pick up a lot more um, product. And so then you're just going to want to go ahead and dab right here. And as you can see, it gives you the perfect glow. Not too much and not too little. And then I'm going to do the nose, forehead, and chin. Next, I'm going to go in with her palette. Um, this is the Mrs. West palette. It's very beautiful. Those are the colors, um, and they all have really cute names. But today, we are going to start off with Etched in Stone, which is this pinky color right here. And I'm just going to use that right here in the brow bone. So I'm going to go ahead and get... My 217 brush, which is one of my favorite brushes by MAC. And then you're going to go ahead and dip in, tap off the excess, and then you're just going to want to go ahead and sweep right here. And that's usually my starting point whenever I do looks um, on myself or my clients. I usually like starting here. With this same brush, I'm going to go ahead and put this more um, in the crease, more meaning just more concentrated right here in this pocket so we're gonna go ahead and just dab in here tap off the excess and then you're gonna want to go ahead and tilt your head back and then just sweep just a little bit and then start going in circular motions just like that as you can see it starts to build up the intensity very gently and very naturally it's not gonna be too much okay now taking the oldest brush that I own as you can see it's by Mac it is the 224 um, it's very old it even says France right here like you could barely see it 
um, but I really love this brush. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take this color here in the center, and that is called May 24th. Now this I'm going to just kind of put here on the corner and blend out. right here not exactly like in the pocket but a little bit before that pocket and just blending it now this brush is probably the best blending brush in the industry so if you need a really good blending brush I know it's a little pricey but I use this on the daily for probably the last 10 years 11 years or so so yeah as you can see it still works really well now once that's all blended out I'm going to want to get this color right here. It's like a pinky champagne color, and it's called Please Marry Me. And she says it's Please Marry Me, <laughs> she says, because that's how Kanye asked her to marry him. So let's go ahead and grab a flat shader brush. So this is going to be your 239 by MAC, and you're going to go ahead and tip into Please Marry Me. Now you can always add some Fix Plus to this to build up the intensity. So first I'll put it on without Fix Plus and then I'll show you what it looks like with Fix Plus. So there's that and then you just kind of want to tap it right here. It is so beautiful. So this is what it looks like without Fix Plus but I'm going to go ahead and dab into the color and then I'm going to go ahead and take some Fix Plus from MAC and this is their setting spray if you've never seen it or heard about it before but it's probably the old, one of the oldest setting sprays and then you're going to want to dab it and you'll see how intense that pigment starts to show now really quick tip make sure before you before you spray this do not dip this after you spray this because if you if you spray and then dip it's going to create this film on top of your um, eyeshadows which I'm sure you've seen when water gets on it or something just liquidy so what I like to do is for the second eye I will flip the brush on the dry side and then pick up the pigment and then once I get the pigment picked up and then I spray and then you're going to want to pat no sweeping just patting I'm going to go ahead and grab that same brown that we used, which is called May 24th. You're going to just get a little bit and then put it under right here, very gently and slightly. I'm also going to take that same color and I'm going to actually dab like this build up the intensity just right in the corner and on the lash line just like that well, if you feel like when you did that brown line underneath it's just too straight of a line it's not blended very well so when I put it under there I kind of wiggle a little bit so it kind of blends out if that does not happen you can always take the 224 and just kind of run it underneath and it'll blend out perfectly so no worries and then I'm just gonna go ahead and line my eyes with brown liner <laughs> we want to make sure with this look that everything is a lot softer because it is like a soft glam for her it's her wedding day so she wants it more softer but i am going to take um this color right here it's called rich experience by mac and it's the pro longwear eyeliner this is actually waterproof which i really really love and i'm just going to go ahead and run it on the um, lash line and then I'm going to do it just on the outside corner of my eye too. Okay guys and then I almost forgot we're just going to take this color right here in the corner and that color is called Mrs. West and we're going to get another shader brush just like this and then we're going to dab in there and just put this right under the brow bone. Now you can put lashes if you want. You can do the individuals. That's what she likes to do is like the little 
individuals of the little clusters right in the corner. Um, I am going to do mascara, and I think, I was debating, I think I might do some bigger lashes than what she did. I, I'm like a big lash girl, so I'll be right back. So here's option number one. You can do without lashes. I just curled my lashes with my Laura Mercier lash curler, which is amazing, by the way. And then I used my Damn Girl Too Faced uh, mascara. And this is what it looks like. Okay, now this is with lashes. Now, sometimes you'll wear lashes and notice how it covers a lot of your eyeshadow. Well, there's just easy things you can do for that. So you can take, I'm going to take my 224 brush, just kind of get all the excess off from the brown. And I'm going to take that pink color right here that is called Just Married. It's like mauve color. And you're just going to want to go a little bit above your lashes so that that color peeks through. This is my Makeup Forever 15S uh, pencil brush. I can't find my MAC one, so I'm going to use my Makeup Forever one. You're just going to go ahead and dab in that color. It's called Just Married. Spray, and then there you go. Voila. And then you're going to do that again. Spray. And dab right there. Just like that. As you can see, it opens up the eye. Here is the KKW Lip Liner. It's in the color Love. And then I'm going to take the lipstick in Love. What I would like to do is put on the lipstick first. And then I go back with my lip liner. And I kind of smudge it in together. After that, we're going to go in with Soulmate, which is this gorgeous, gorgeous lip gloss that she came out with. And tie everything together. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!